With version 4.14.0.0, CodeSys has simplified and standardized the management of its control products. This means the soft PLCs and virtual PLCs. Previously, there were separate tools for different platforms and tasks, such as control for Raspberry Pi, virtual controls, control for Linux SL, or the license server. All these functions have now been combined into one single deploy tool. In this video, we will show you step by step how to use the new tool to efficiently install, configure, and manage soft PLCs and virtual PLCs. Let's start with the installation. Use the CodeSys installer to download the deploy tool and the required packages. Here you can see an overview of the installed packages. Make sure that everything you need is installed, such as the deploy tool itself, and of course, CodeSys Control Raspberry Pi SL, CodeSys Virtual Control SL, or CodeSys License Server for Linux SL. Open the Tools menu. You will notice right away that you have much better overview as the previous update device XYZ entries are no longer necessary. Open the Deploy tool and the Communication tab it contains. Connect to your target device via SSH using its IP address. In this example, it is an IPC with Debian Linux. After connecting, you will see an overview of the device data under Device Information. If necessary, you can restart the operating system of the device with the Reboot button. In the Deployment tab, you can now install packages and images on your desired platform. In addition, you will have an overview of the packages that are already installed on the device here. The installed images for the virtualization environment are also clearly displayed. Now, install the components you require. Let's start with CodeSys Control for Linux SL. The Deploy tool now also recommends the Edge Gateway. Once the installation is complete, we can start using the runtime straight away. In the Operation tab, we can further configure or operate the two packages. However, we will use virtual controls instead of the normal Linux runtime in order to give you a better impression of the Deploy tool. To do this, we need to install some packages and images. In our case, these are the images for virtual control, virtual edge gateway, and CodeSys license server. The tool automatically suggests only those products that are supported by the target device. This avoids compatibility issues that may result from the CPU architecture, for example. In the Operation tab, you will find all installed services, such as the license server and their statuses. In the Operation area, you can load and view the CodeSys log. Use the Open WBM action to open the license server web interface. After logging in with the SSH access data, you can manage your licenses in the CodeSys WBM tab. The license server is required for licensing CodeSys Virtual Control SL. Here, you can store your licenses which are then automatically retrieved by the virtual controls. The license server can either run on the same device as the runtime instance or on any other device in the network. Now create a new instance of virtual control and virtual edge gateway in the VPLC area. On the right hand side in the settings area, you can configure the instances according to your requirements. For example, set instance to auto start and define dependencies. In our case, VPLC1 is dependent on VEdge, as otherwise no connection to the virtual control can be established. When configuring, make sure that the IP address of the network license server is stored as CodeSys virtual controllers can only be operated with network licenses. With network, you can add the instance to a specific container network. To use industrial Ethernet, the instances require access to an Ethernet adapter. You can map this adapter to the instance in the NIC field. If you are using a web visualization, you must open the corresponding port of the instance. In our case, this is port 8080. Make sure that the settings are saved correctly. In order to ensure that VEdge can find the VPLC instance later, 
it must also be added to the corresponding container network. The deploy tool allows you to easily duplicate instances. Here we duplicate the instance vplc1. However, to avoid conflicts with the source instance, you must always recheck the settings and correct them accordingly. You can also export the configuration of your instance as a file. The descriptions of the instance is stored in a CFG file in the zip file. Start your instance. Here we can see that the vEdge is also started with vplc1 due to the dependency. Once the status of the instances has changed to running, we can connect to the vplc1 via the edge gateway. For this video, we have the vEdge gateway already prepared in the CodeSys development system. After creating the user, we can log in to the vplc1 download the application to the controller and start it. Using the IP address of the host device, we can now call the web visualization via port 8080. If an instance is no longer required, it can simply be stopped and deleted. This provides a clean overview and saves resources. Deleted and previously exported instances can also be re-imported if required. With the new CodeSys Deploy tool, you can manage and configure all your control products centrally. This saves time and offers a consistent user experience. Try it yourself and experience how easy it has become to work with CodeSys Control. For more information, visit our website. Thank you for watching.